Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error message pop-up you may be experiencing on your Windows computer that says that the drive is not accessible. The volume does not contain a recognized file system. Please make sure that all required file system drivers are loaded and that the volume is not corrupted. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start by opening up Windows Explorer. So if you just have the icon down in the taskbar for File Explorer, you can just select that or search for it. And then you want to select this PC on the left side. Right click on the hard drive you're having the problem with here. And you're going to select the Properties option. Select the Tools tab. And then under Error Checking, this option will check the drive for file system errors. Select the Check button. And then select the Scan Drive button. And depending on how large your hard drive is, it will likely take a lot longer than a 10 megabyte hard drive. So you can see it did not find anything in our case. Go ahead and close out of here. And select the OK. You may also want to consider opening up the search menu and type in disk management. Perhaps if you didn't see it listed underneath this PC. And where it says create and format hard disk partitions, go ahead and open that up. So if you notice your volume in here might be unallocated space, you may have to go ahead and actually mount it. So for example, if I actually shrank this volume here, just to give an example of what it would look like perhaps, you may have a space in here that just says unallocated. You're going to go ahead and right click on it and select new simple volume. Select next and then next again. You can sign a different drive letter if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and select next. You can name the volume whatever you want. This is the name of the drive that we're going to be naming it. This is going to be the name of the drive. And I'm going to select Next and then Finish. And then it should be recognized by the system at that point. So hopefully that would have been able to provide a workaround for you guys as well. You may also want to consider formatting the drive. So if we're back underneath this PC here, if you right click on the drive and you select it Format, you could select the file system type. You want to do NTFS or FAT file system type. If you're on Windows computers and you pretty much only use Windows devices, you're probably just better keeping it at NTFS. If you're using other computers, if you're using you know, Linux and Mac devices, you may want to select FAT here. And anyway, I'm just going to select NTFS. If you're using Windows-based computers, just keep it at that. And that's pretty much all you're using. Then just keep it at that, like I said. Keep quick format checkmarked and then select Start. And I do want to note that formatting will erase all the data on this disk. It's going to erase everything, so make sure you have everything backed up if you had anything on there. And to proceed to format the disk, click OK. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Format's complete, and that's pretty much it. And hopefully the drive should be usable for you at this point. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.